plans have been approved this afternoon for three huge solar farms in Somerset. The developments will provide enough green energy for around 4,000 homes, but it'll swallow up more than 100 acres of agricultural land, and there's been fierce opposition to that. The decision comes as developers across the southwest race to complete green energy schemes in time to claim a government subsidy, which is being scrapped in August this year. It's thought up to 10 solar farms are being built in this region alone. Well, Clinton Rogers is at one of the agreed sites in Somerset for us now. Good evening, Clinton. Good evening, Alex, and welcome to a rather blustery Puritan. Uh, I'm fairly close to what used to be the Royal Ordnance Factory. You can probably see the brick building uh, just behind me there. They used to make explosives for the, the British military. It's empty now, and there is a plan to turn it into what's called an energy park. And linked to that, this afternoon, Sedgemoor planners approved a plan for a, a solar park on the farmland just behind me, about 30 acres of it. And as you say, linked to the two other applications they've approved, that is 100 acres of what is now agricultural land that in future won't be producing food but electricity. So again, it's all of this. All of this. When Chris Portingale bought his house on the outskirts of Bridgewater, it was the view over open countryside that swayed him. Well, it's just big lines going across here. So the but the cornfields he surveys today will soon become a giant solar farm. Nearly 30 acres of farmland will be covered with 10-foot high panels like this. 20,000 of them. I've got it, really. I've got this one this side. On the other side of the road, there's, there's another 35 acres going up. So they passed both of them today. Another one at Puritan. So that's 100 acres been taken out of, of, of crop production. Technology here. Solar farms are big elsewhere in Europe, especially here in Germany. But they are relatively new over here and not without their opponents. Although planners in Sedgemoor this afternoon agreed to three solar farms close to one another, it was a close vote. We haven't had the opportunity to see the impact of, of just one of these. Uh, and so we're very much sort of flying blind, as it were. And I just wonder if in five, ten years' time we'll be sitting there thinking, why on earth did we do that? But the company behind two of the schemes says it's the future. Well, there's a desperate need for renewable energy, and solar parks have a part to play in that. The big issue with solar parks is visual impact. Um, the response we've had from the council and consultees suggests that they believe we've dealt with that very well. And on that particular point, only time will really tell. Now, I have to say, it is all going to happen very quickly, because as we touched on in our introduction, the government is drastically cutting the level of public subsidy for schemes like this. And to take advantage of the public money, the government subsidy that is currently available, these companies need to get these solar farms up and producing electricity by the 1st of August this year. Now, the company spokesman I talked to earlier this afternoon said, no problem. We shall see. Back to you.